Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be modeling this floor lamp in Revit. Let's get started. Let's start off by clicking New. Look for metric light fixture. Click Open. Let's go to our front elevation. Let's check our height. I'm going to change this by clicking this one and putting 1550. Next, we're going to put some reference plane just, just for guidance. Three hundred three hundred and then two more reference plane one fifty and then put one more one fifty again. So I'm going to create the model right inside here. So next, let's click create and then let's use revolve. Use arc and then Let's create our model. I'm going to offset this around 10. And then let's close it. And then I'm going to trim. And then next, we're going to click axis line and choose the middle and then finish. So it looks like this. Let's go back to front elevation. Let's model this out. So another revolve and then let's use the line let's trim this And trim this again. Let's put our axis line and then let's click finish. So here looks like I forgot to put this. 
and then click finish and then let's look at it next let's go back to front elevation and now we're gonna create the hanging support and the base let's create a sweep and then let's get a path let's use a spline and from here we can model out how it looks let's adjust it a little bit And then once you're happy, let's finish. And then let's go to our 3D and select profile and edit profile. Here, I'm just gonna create a circle. So around 15 would be good. And click finish. Let's look at it on our front elevation. So I feel like the 15 is too much. I'm going to edit the profile. I'm going to go to 3D. And then let's make it smaller. maybe around 10 so next we're gonna create the base so let's go to our floor plan and then let's create the base right here so i'm just gonna use I'm actually gonna use a blend so i'm gonna use Thirty, and then twenty five, and click finish, and let's go to our front elevation. Just gonna edit this And then let's 
click and check it from 3D or front elevation. So now let's make this shaded so that we could see it properly and we could click the light source and we could change from here. And then you can change the intensity and all of this right here. You can change different kinds. So for now, I'm going to choose this and you could just edit it. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like, subscribe, feel free to comment down below.